Mihai Chisink Mihai, in his discussion of flow in our session six lesson, talked about eight or nine characteristics in the concept of flow. And he defined those characteristics as clear goals that are not too difficult or too easy, but matched to skills. He talked about immediate feedback and knowing what you are doing. And he talked about concentration, um, that it becomes more and more focused. And he talked about the challenges and what kinds of challenges that you can take on to experience flow. And he cautioned that you would be careful to avoid doing things above your head and that are not in your nature. So the balance of challenge versus skills, and when you have this balance, that's where you are in uh, Mihai's um, that's where you find yourself in Mihai's definition of flow. And it's interesting that I find myself currently in flow when I am trail running. So this is a leisure activity that I've started in May. And let me just kind of go through my story of trail running. So let's talk about what flow is in terms of what I learned in the lesson. So we know that flow is challenges and skill in such a relationship that we're challenged enough um, at our particular skill level to put us in such a focus that we are engrossed, if you will, in the activity that we're doing. So the lesson states that flow occurs when the task we are performing is one where the challenges presented by the task are equally matched by the skills we bring to the task. In my time trail running, I started out at a very low skill level and the challenges that were before me were such that I was able to have enough challenge that I was not demotivated to continue with uh, coming back to trail run. And... It was a time of mental and physical growth in order to become more proficient at this particular sport. Another aspect of trail running that kept me coming back was the fact that I loved the beauty that surrounded me when I was in nature. And this really lends to... Uh, my appreciation for beauty and excellence and is why that's my top character um, on my VIA assessment. So this particular sport really plays into really a lot of my character strengths. The figure four graph of the lesson that talked about low to high skill level and low to high challenge level and the various emotions that we experience and I have to state that my journey of trail running started in the emotion of apathy because I was at the low end of the skill level and I was low end of the challenge level. I certainly wasn't bored and I certainly wasn't relaxed because uh, my skill level was so low. In terms of the challenge level, uh, I didn't progress into the sport quick because I 
did not want to have anxiety or worry about the challenges that were before me. So I tried to match a challenge to my skill set that was enough that I had, um, um, I guess, the arousal feeling. So ultimately, the um, the challenges increased. However, my skill set also did. Um, I never experienced the boredom because it was always a match of the skill set uh, to the appropriate challenge that pushed me. So I guess I had a number of stretch goals for myself in order that I continued to stay motivated. The VIA Institute defines appreciation of beauty and excellence as noticing and appreciation beauty, excellence, and or skilled performance in various domains of life from nature to art to mathematics to science to everyday experiences. That is my top character strength. The demonstration of this through trail running has been my ability to back off of the internal competition element of it or the external competition element of the sport to, to stop and take pictures, to speak with people. Uh, my second character strength is love and I value close relationships. So as I'm trail running, I will talk to people, I will engage in people, I will learn about their story. And it is so fulfilling for me to be able to do that and to build new relationships, but also further so, in the book Flourish that we're reading on page 72. Dr. Seligman talks about gratitude and active, constructive responding, making opportunities for flow. And I would have to say that I am very grateful for the individuals who supported me back in May, who believed in me. When I set a goal out to do a 27 mile trail race that had 6,000 feet of elevation change, I definitely needed the support of the folks who surrounded me. Their, their constructive feedback, their appreciation of me and my appreciation of them all set the tone for putting me in the place of flow. And I was able to achieve my goal and set future goals. So this place of flow and the challenges for this particular recreation is going to continue and I definitely found a love. Well thank you for letting me share my photographs of the Boulder Beast race. Certainly the scenic views of Lock Haven and the mountain are something that I'll never forget and really appreciate the opportunity to share the photos that I had taken. Moreover, I wanted to express my gratitude for this particular learning exercise and incorporating the concept of flow, character strengths, engagement, and the benefits of having people speak into your life in order to create opportunities for you to be at your best.